Okay, so this weekend we're going to get the premiere of Goodnight Mommy on Amazon Prime. Now, I have not watched this movie. Amazon, come on. I kid you not, that was just Amazon at the door. So, anyways, let's get back to this um, review. Well, I need to explain. I lost my train of thought. So, Amazon's Goodnight Mommy. By the way, Amazon, reach out, please. I've been trying to reach out to y'all. They have a new remake of the movie from the Austrian 2015 hit Goodnight Mommy. Goodnight Mommy is a film I got the chance to check out way back then, 2015 when it came out. I never did a video for it. I wasn't really on YouTube consistently. I was on and off regarding like where I was with my channel. And it, it was a crazy year where I was just doing some stuff on the channel and then I wasn't. Then I was doing some writing stuff. So I don't want to get into it. That's a life story right there. So, Goodnight Mommy. Let's talk about the ending. If you've seen this movie, you know what it is. If you haven't, this is a movie you don't want to go in knowing the ending because I think the way it builds up to that ending is just magnificent. So definitely check it out or wait for the Amazon movie, which is probably going to be the same thing. So Goodnight Mommy's ending. Before we get to that ending, we have to talk about the plot. I mean, a lot of people always get mad at me when I talk about the whole plot, but I need to go and talk about the plot so we can get to the ending. So that's that. Anyways, Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, 25,000 subscribers, less than 600 to go, giveaway at 25k, more on that once we get a little closer, but let's start with this film that follows Elias and Lucas, two twin brothers who are pretty much just like, hey, something's wrong with mom, I don't know what it is, and we gotta get to the bottom of it. Their mom has just come home from a plastic surgery she has, bandaged up completely, giving you Invisible Man vibes, and pretty much a horror-esque nightmare now that you wonder, is this their real mom, or is this some creature, or what is going on here? So, what we have here is a mom who is ignoring the other twin, Lucas, not feeding them, and treating the other boy, Elias, pretty bad scolding them and just pretty much being like yeah you gotta listen to my house rules and all of this i don't want any noise you gotta be stopping with all of this like shenanigans you're doing and the other boy just ignore it as well this has them pretty much trying to distance themselves but also trying to figure out if this is their real mom or not they go out to play make masks that are kind of creepy and then you have the mom with the mask as well they're collecting giant roaches so i guess your average thing your kid would do I think now they eventually get more and more like is this a real mom or not we have to figure it out before it's too late so they decide to tie her down and pretty much torture the woman trying to get the answers out of them if they are indeed their mom or not or what is going on this leads to a lot and a lot of very disturbing imagery that eventually escalates and the mom finally has enough and says, you've never been the same ever since Lucas died. And that's when all of us, it clicks that Lucas has never really been there. Elias was pretty much imagining Lucas and this could sort of manifest it as well into the distrust they have towards the mom who is in fact the real mom. There's nothing going on with the mom. They just had a cosmetic surgery and Lucas was dead this whole time that is the reason the mother never fed lucas that is the reason the mother never acknowledged lucas and pretty much just left it off as it is elias however is not going to take this answer lightly and decides to burn down the house with the mother inside of it by the time the fire department arrives it is too late and the whole fire just consumes everything and we see elias join his imaginary brother who is dead and his m real mother in his eyes as they walk through a field as the movie ends so this ending was one of the most tragic endings for real but I definitely do see this ending. When I remember seeing this movie, it gave me the vibes of another film called... And I'll talk about another film that sort of gave me the same vibes at the end. And that's going to have a spoiler warning as well. If you haven't seen that film, maybe heard about it and have it in your watch list. So if you don't want that, I'll let you know when I talk about it. So let's just keep talking about this movie right now. So pretty much by the end of it that we saw that Elias was sort of imagining all of this he was very much so in denial about what happened and sort of having this imagination that was running wild in order to sort of cope with what had happened to his other brother Lucas and they pretty much try to say that it maybe it had something to do with them being twins as well and then having this telepathy and they were sort of still connected even though uh, Lucas wasn't there physically mentally and psychologically he was still pretty much in Elias's head and that has something to do with how Elias sort of imagined everything that they did together and when you really go back and look at it even the conversations between Elias and Lucas are kind of cut short and the way that uh, Lucas sort of is the only one that 
that talks to the mother and talks about Lucas as well pretty much gives you clues like the more you see this movie the more you pick up on these things as well and very much so a tragic tragic story I think when you really think about everything that happened because the mental health of this young boy you see it deteriorate throughout the whole movie and that eventually leads to the torture and pretty much murder of his mother at his own hands so what an interesting film honestly and I'm very curious to see how Amazon's going to make this film as well is it going to be a straight up remake or are they going to add some stuff to it that's something I'm very interested in knowing about so let me know your thoughts and your opinions down below on this film what did you think about it what did you like what didn't you like if you watched it already and are you going to be checking out amazon's newest film goodnight mommy which will premiere as i said this weekend let me know in the comments down below but as always that's going to do it for me like i said i want to tell you the movie this reminded me of so if you haven't seen a certain um, asian movie more specifically south korean that maybe you have on your list i don't want to spoil it for you so this is your time to click off of the video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and check out our pearl videos coming out later tonight and tomorrow as well but as always stay safe stay positive okay if you're here let's talk about the film a tale of two sisters which this was pretty much based upon bit but very much so, I think that that film is very different at the same time because I think that the twist and the uncoverings of both films feel very different and they're still worth checking out. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit here and I do want to talk about it coming into horror season so I will make a separate video on it uh, probably in a week or two so stay tuned for that. But anyways, as always, like I said, here we go with another outro. Um, thank you for tuning into the video. Make sure you hit that notification bell. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. At 25,000, we will do a giveaway less than 600 to go. So make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you know when the video drops, when I explain the giveaway. Make sure you're subscribed. But as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions. And will you be watching Goodnight Mommy? It might be one of the movies I said as a watch party type live when... Um, we get close to spooky season so keep your eyes peeled I will do a community post to know what movies people want to do a watch party for but as always make sure you subscribe notification bell on check out our other videos pro videos coming I will see you tonight and I'm excited so as always stay safe stay positive